Hello, konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh. <laughs> well, it's that time of the week again. We'll be coming together with the hottest gaming news this week to keep you up to speed. How are you guys doing this week? I'm all right. You're just all right. All, just all right. It's my, it's my parents' anniversary today. Oh, oh congratulations. congratulations. Well, I forgot about it. Okay. <laughs> so I don't I, think you're supposed I to was, remember it. Because I was walking down the stairs. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your mom's birthday was on Wednesday. Yeah, so my dad's birthday is on the 13th of September. My mom's birthday is on the 16th of September, right. and their anniversary is today on the 18th of September. So I forgot all about it, and I walked down the stairs, and then my mom was like, really loudly to my dad, happy anniversary. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> happy anniversary. And then, and, and then my dad was like, uh, don't you want to take a picture? <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. From the bottom of the stairs, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope that you have your headphones on tonight. What the fuck? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait for that, but I'm just... Anyways, uh, it's been one hell of a week. Uh, we did our re-recording of the episode 42.1. Yeah, uh, no wrong there, Jeff. You yeah, know? Yeah, no yeah. harm done. Shit happens, yeah, right? Yeah, shit happens. happens. Right. <laughs> yeah, and anyways, on the lineup this week, we will be talking about some small news such as Left Dead 2, Fall Guys, uh, the Big announcement, uh, PlayStation 5 Showcase, the Nintendo's Direct Partner Showcase, and something about Walmart being sold out in just in a few minutes. Like under a minute. Under a minute, yeah. right? Yeah. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, what no, a is. time to be alive. It is. It is. Right. <laughs> no, like seriously, what a time to be time. alive. Yeah. Because uh, me and Afik, we were on Discord last night, and I was just showing him uh, the quote-unquote next-gen gameplay Right, and and we checked out some games that we will talk about later, such as uh, Demon Souls. Yeah, dude, dude, the lighting. Just yeah, talking yeah the lighting is out of this world. What a time to be alive! What a time, what a time, to, time be to be alive! Right, so as usual, I'm your host Kelvin T, and with me in the studio, your favorite gaming host, we have I am Jeff K and Afi K, and we're not siblings. No, we're not. Right. No, we're not. <laughs> uh, we also have our intern Joe here. Hey, Joe, you want to say hi? Hello, Chief. Hello. All right. <laughs> So without further ado, let's do this episode. So starting with the first news of the week, we will be talking about Left 4 Dead 2, The Last Stand. Oh boy. Right. So a few weeks ago, we actually talked about this game on how Valve is reviving a dead, get it, franchise? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> By introducing a brand new campaign called The Last Stand. Uh, for those of you who did not catch the episode, The Last Stand is basically the four survivors took an alternative road. Instead of going to the docks, they went to the lighthouse. And when you go to a lighthouse, you can't really GTFO. Yeah, because yeah, okay. everybody knows what happens in lighthouses, right? That's you the ever death lighthouses? toll campaign. Yeah. yeah. And you, or you, the survivor, will eventually die. So this is not a story mode. It's basically a a fight to the death, a survival campaign that you fight waves of zombies, uh, waves of uh, mutated boss, and everything oh, else. Oh, really? That, yeah. That, that, and everything else that, that comes your way. Four, four players, last stand, uh, fight to the death, uh, just al- unlimited waves of zombies yeah, yeah. that just keep coming and coming and coming, right? So you gotta survive to win. That's yeah, just basically you, it. you basically have to survive to win. Mm-hmm. However, that's not the best news, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, re- reviving a franchise that is old, more than a decade old, yeah. that's, that's one thing. Yeah. But with this new update, right, they will be listing... 30 new achievements. Okay, it's, it's it's a huge list here. Okay, so I'm just gonna oh name. My goodness. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna name a few. 30 brand new achievements, mm-hmm. new and unique milestones to strive for. 26 new survivor maps. Oh. Right. Whoa. All right. What? Four new sca- <laughs> Yeah. Four new sca- sca- uh, scavenger maps. Two brand new melee weapon. Oh right. All right. 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 It includes the first Left 4 Dead one infected as well. Uh, new and unused voice lines. Basically, it's it's everything, right? Damn, it's man. it's it's a brand yeah. new. I, I wouldn't say a brand new game, but a really meaty DLC for a game that was that is 10, 13 years old. Yeah, I it's checked out like- the tra- uh, I checked out the trailer and it was uh, it kind of like really brought back the whole um excitement that we all uh, got when Left 4 Dead was out. Yeah. I mean, like, it, I, I, at the same time, it does feel like the animation for the trailer itself, it does seem a little bit, like, clunky here and there, but mm-hmm. hey, it's Left 4 Dead. I, it's community-made. Yep. That's that's one thing. It's not just community-made. Yeah. This this DLC, The Last Stand, is made by more than 30 
plus com- community. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive, and they added in new animations as well. Yep. Yeah, and that was yep. like the, the part like, oh my god, I'm I'm not sure if I saw the trailer right, but you can actually like self res yourself or something like that. Yep. You can just pick yourself back up on your feet or something like that. I don't know how that's gonna work. You know what's the best 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 part? The creme de la creme mm-hmm. is completely free. Yeah, it's completely, completely free. It's completely free. Mm-hmm. The amount right. of content that's going into this this update sounds like it's a completely like new game. It sounds like left it sounds like it would be Left for Dead three. Right. But it was a marketing decision to make it a part of Left for Dead two because it's it's gonna be more interesting like that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Uh there's so much content like twenty six new maps. Yep. And they had what like ten years to work on it. Yeah, yep. I didn't hear about the, the those new maps, man. I, I I'm really excited. Is it is it out or oh co- okay all right. right. <laughs> yeah. So Jeff Jeff just kind of had a glimpse of my my I was about to say my lyrics here, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah. my script These are here. lyrics. Uh, for all PC players out there, the Left 4 Dead Last Stand will be coming up on PC, Valve, exclusive. September 24th and that is like not too long ago not too long six more days to go <laughs> six more days as of this recording oh that's like next Saturday yeah. right yes yeah. yes I'm, I'm Friday, honestly yeah. looking forward to play this again yes I would like to play it with you yes I would like to try it out yes get the boys back <laughs> just like the old days huh right? would you like a would you like a new crewmate oh yeah definitely <laughs> dude have you like no <laughs> why not <laughs> of That'd course man yeah man you can play the boomer Oh yeah? No, is no, it because no, I look no. the way I do? No, no, what? dude. Because there's no, multiplayer. It. No, you know, it's four v four too, man. Oh, oh yeah. God. Oh my god, that'd be right. so cool. And, and, and oh, there's four v four. There's yeah, actually yeah, yeah, a yeah. highlight Ooh. that that caught my eye. There are new mutated zombies. Yeah, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. What is brand new? I, what do you mean brand new? I think they'll be introducing a new boss, like like a mini boss. Right. Right. I, I don't know much about it. And the other highlight that I want to do, uh, that I want to highlight here is the implementation of Counter-Strike Source weapons in-game as well. Oh. So you have your, oh, a- your, your a- <laughs> AWP, the oh, Scout, the, the Commando. The the tap tap gun. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the AWP is the sniper rifle. Yeah. Right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The Magnum. The Magnum sniper right. rifle. Yeah. Oh and yeah, God. I definitely can't wait for this to happen. We need to play. Is it on? Uh, is it like on Left 4 Dead One or Two? Left 4 Dead Two. Left 4 Dead Two. Yeah, right. Left okay. Two. All right. Sounds sweet, man. Does Can't that mean wait. I need to? I need to have Left 4 Dead Two yeah. first. Yeah. It's not expensive. If, if I'm mistaken, like twenty it's like, bucks. It's like twenty bucks. Yeah, it's yeah. Bucks. I'm gonna get bucks. it after this. <laughs> yeah, right. dude. It's 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 gonna be exciting. I want to play it with you, Kel. Likewise, man. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be playing it with mods. I don't think I should. No, I don't think I should too. I don't think you should too. Right. Moving on to the next news, we have Fall Guys mixing things up. Yeah. And remember oh, when, yeah. when when a time where Fall Guys, we, we were actually playing it? Yes. Yeah, dude, so dude. I updated the game and I jumped it in it last night. Yeah. They really shook things up, man. Like really? the loading screen, like it's, it's not so as fast. easy anymore. Yeah. It's, it, I, I, I wouldn't say it's not as easy. It was never easy to begin with, mm-hmm. but it's not as predictable anymore. Interesting. Right? And re- remember how when you went from stage one to stage two, stage two to stage three, the loading screen actually makes you think, it's like, hey, what is going on? What, what is the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was almost seamless last night, man. Like, for me to finish a one campaign, one, one, one session, one session, it took me less than f- five, six minutes. And that's because they've reduced the loading yeah, times. Yeah, the loading time. And the best thing is, I did not meet a single hacker last night. That's nice. Right? That's good to the hear. La- the last yeah. time I played it, we found a hacker. And then I kind of like, kind of turned me off a little bit because I don't understand why someone would cheat on yeah. a freaking like, fall. I mean, come on, it's Fall Guys, it's, dude. Like, it's very petty, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Very petty. It's like, it's like you, do you, listen, really, do you really need to win tonight? Yeah. Like, tonight? Yeah. <laughs> do you really need to? Yeah, dude. So, <laughs> so, that is not the highlight, however. Uh, they have been studying the patterns of how hackers have been hacking the game. Mm-hmm. So for the l- longest time, we've been asking, hey, why the devs not doing anything about it? But they, w- they were. The whole time, the Metronomics... No, no. What What's Par- the game? Pa- what? What's the game developer for this game again? Fall Guys. Oh, shit. I don't remember. Is it Metronomics? Mediatonic. Mediatonic. Yeah. Yeah. Close enough, Kel. Met- Metronomics is the Malaysian <laughs> game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Media... They have been studying the patterns of how hackers hack, why they hack, and and what kind of hack tools they use. Yeah, mm-hmm. because they are basically building a database of all these hackers. Like what determines you to be a hacker, mm-hmm. right? 
and they finally found enough evidence and enough data to the point that they created this thing called a cheater's island. Oh, oh. okay. I like that. So I like that for, too. For, and for, I know where this is going. Much. For those of you who don't know what a cheater island is, it's basically an entire server filled with 40 to 60 hackers. Okay? Mm. Do you guys want to see how it looks like? Yeah. It Please. Was. I want to see this madness. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've chaos. seen it. And it's, so, it's like purgatory, man. <laughs> Color my life with a dash of chaos. This one? Yeah. yeah. This is how it starts, right? See? Like three, two, one, and Oh my god. Dude, everyone. All the hackers. Okay, so so this Wait, is so th so they don't know that they're gonna be uh, on yeah. this cheater so, island. They think so they're the only one that has an yeah. advantage. When when the algorithm <laughs> yeah, when the algorithm determines yeah. you as a hacker, the next game that you play, you will be automatically thrown into a server filled with other hackers as well. So this is one. This is an Another example. Look at the look at these dudes, man. Look at these fools. You guys saw that? Yeah, oh it's God. a blink of an eye, man. Right. Like, why play the game then? Yeah, why why bother playing the game? Look, look. Here it is again. Three. So basically, um, what? Okay, I, the, the the words are in Chinese, but yeah. I'm gonna assume that it means round over. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not sure what these players are doing. They're literally just teleporting straight or uh to, towards the finish line what game mode is this where you have to step on the right tiles tiptoes tiptoes i don't think there's the right path for it so i think they're just falling off the map with some shit like that but the ones that that, that you showed before that one was pretty interesting because um this fall was, mountain yeah fall mountain basically at the end there's the crown but what happens here instead of all of them teleporting straight to the crown they kind of got teleported just right oh. before it and they're not able to touch it whatsoever they're literally like on this conveyor belt that's like pulling them back and they're just like mosh bedding together, not being able to touch the crown and the round's over and you get to see <laughs> all of their fall guys like uh, Avatar just being bummed out, not winning the game whatsoever. I like that. I, I really like that. Yeah, I, I like that. I love I, that. I, I, would, I was actually very curious on how game developers make these cheater islands at the same time how they look like and this is actually probably one of the first times i've actually, I've actually seen these uh cheater yeah. servers yeah. yeah i would assume it looks it looks no different than any other yeah, like, yeah map yeah. that you play on it's just that it's yeah. more it's, it's basically like that. a de dedicated server just for the cheaters themselves yeah. only. i'd be so bummed out if i was cheating and i was on that like I was yeah. playing that, and then I'm like, oh shit! Like, there's no point playing anymore. Like, man. Three, two, yeah, one. Yeah, I started, and I'm like, oh shit! What the fuck? Everyone's yeah. here. Like, everyone yeah, yeah. has the same tools as me, right? Yeah. However, Cheetah Island has been taken down this week uh, because why? I don't know the reason why. Basically, it says here all cheaters was placed in the server, but the server is closed down for for now. Uh, they are still getting a a. They're, they're still trying to get enough data on how all these cheaters are hacking right, because right. They, they have to keep their lips sealed because whenever they update, they come out with a statement or an update, the cheaters will be like, okay, this is how they're trying to catch us, right? Yeah. So they're trying to keep it down low. And what they're, try what they're trying to do now is they are implementing uh, the same hack de detection of what Fortnite and Apex is u using right, the anti-cheat right. system. Right. Yeah. The, the blue bear yeah, that blue yeah, icon. Yeah, yeah. anti-cheat. And... And once they're ready, the next update is called Big Yeeters and Anti Cheaters. <laughs> All right. Uh, in terms of what the Big Yeeters is, uh, they will tell us more late later on. But the Anti Cheaters is basically Epic's anti cheat si system that will improve things, and what I quote here a huge step forward. I think that's a good thing for for uh well, what's the what's the devs called um media tonic no no, no you, metronomic yeah, yeah no media media Me media, media tonic tonic, media tonic, yeah. media tonic. Right. that's that's good on them man but but then again going back to Afik uh saying that it's damn petty for anyone yeah. to actually yeah. cheat in if this, you're listening but, to this episode and you're a hacker on Fall Guys fuck you yeah, yeah we do not support you. you yeah yeah and dude come on man it's a game that's meant for fun it's nothing yeah. competitive or anything dude it's like it's bad enough that 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 you cheat on like fps games where cheating i i sort of can't understand why you'd want to do it yeah like because you know it's it's a difficult you feel game. empowered yeah. yeah 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 but for but fall you guys, cheat on fall guys <laughs> that's that's another level of like lonely dude like, <laughs> it's like that's like cheating that's like, in fall guys it's like copying your friend's answer during 
during an exam in kindergarten. Yeah, 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 dude. yeah pretty much. Like, hey, bro, what's uh, what's red, huh? What, <laughs> which color is red? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay. All right. So moving on to the next bit of news, we got the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase that was uh, launched on a Thursday night here in KL. So basically, they have showcased a handful of games that will be ported to the Switch and released on a Nintendo Switch. And this includes basically um, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, uh, Rune Factory 5, This Guy is 6, Sniper Elite, Monster Hunters Rise, and Monster Hunter Stories. So um, so basically, starting off with the first one, Ori and the Will of the Wisp is the sequel to the Metroidvania-style game developed by Moon Studios. Take on towering enemies and puzzles in this side-scrolling platformer to uncover Ori's destiny. Mm. Have you actually tried out Ori and the Will of the Wisps? Yes, I did. No. Yes, I did. I've so much it. good reviews, yes, man. Yes, it's the literally you 10 it? out of 10. No. It's 10 out of 10. Yeah, dude. Everyone that Damn. comes out, like, like it says here, 97% like this video game Google uses. It's 10 out of 10 on Steam. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. It's really good because, like, it's uh, it's got re- a lot of atmosphere mm-hmm. and uh, basically a story as well where you have to play as this glowing little uh, ferret-looking thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the new one, uh, I'm not sure if you guys seen the trailer. It looks pretty spectacular. It's it makes really me, nice. Yeah, it makes me want to pick up the first game because I did play the first game, but I didn't really like play it through because I wasn't really into Metroidvania Good at thing. that time. Are you going to play it on your PC or Switch? I'm definitely going to try it on the Switch because uh, I feel like if I were to buy it on my PC, I don't think it's going to be, I don't know, the experience is not like yeah. enough. Like yeah. these kind of games, like like platformer puzzle yeah. games, always for me, Switch, man. Switch is the way to go. Yeah, I, it's it's meant for handheld, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's meant for handheld. Anyways, moving on to the uh, next game, we got Rune Factory 5, which is an upcoming role-playing simulation video game that's being developed by Marvelous, which is the first entry in the Rune Factory series since 2012's Rune Factory 4, and it will be planned to be released for the Nintendo Switch next year in 2021. And then there's Disgaea 6, and this is another game that I feel like I, uh, that I want to get because uh, I don't know I just like chibi anime looking Disguise things Disgaea 6 yeah yeah apparently like it's the uh, first uh, new Disgaea game in 6 Ooh. years so mm. it looks adorable yeah yeah it's very adorable but it's turn based uh, you get okay. to play as a zombie that that I don't know he's somewhat like um uh, he's like a mage or something like that. I don't know much about Disgaea 6 but I am really excited to try this one out I'm not really much I'm not much into turn based games but I kind of, the trailer kind of like sold me because oh. of all the characters you get to play as this penguin. Oh, it's that penguin! I've yeah, seen the like, penguin before. You yeah. like this kind of stuff, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like yeah, this kind of stuff. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And then and then uh, we got um, then there's another one. Uh, I want like I want to talk about this quickly with you, Kel, which is Monster Hunters Rise. I know you like to play Monster Hunters. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen the trailer yet, mm-hmm. but Monster Hunters Rise basically is this. Um, they're actually giving you a new mechanic where you can just like zip yeah, using it's... like this wire bug or something like that. I mean, it's, it's I, pretty okay. cool. I'm not much of a Monster Hunters guy, but what do you thought about I it? I saw both Mon- Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2. Yeah. I wasn't sold on Monster Hunter Rise because it felt like a early days PS2 graphic game. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was the same Monster Hunter from like the PS4. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's basically the same. Yeah, I yeah. have tried out almost all Monster Hunter besides right. the, the latest one that was released on PC, PS4 and... Yeah, uh, yeah, Monster yeah, Hunter World, one. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, right? that's yeah, one yeah, I saw. Uh, World, yeah. That's that. That's the only Monster Hunter title that I've yet to touch. But looking at Monster Hunter Rise, it was a bit underwhelming for for going into like you know the whole next gen console yeah. thing. It was really underwhelming. But Monster Hunter Stories Two, however, mm-hmm. yeah, caught my attention. Right? That one like, caught my attention too. Yeah, yeah. because I'm okay. Wait, wait, wait. Before you before okay. you start, I'm just gonna go off and saying when I saw the trailer, I was like, this is what Pokemon could have been. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is what Pokemon could have been because yes. it's so beautiful and um, the, all of the design, the character's yep. design is so much uh, reminiscent of the Breath of the Wild kind of like yep. design no, as it, well. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, Studio Ghibli. Yeah. Uh, what's the Gi- Ghibli game that came off? Uh, uh, Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni, yeah. yeah Nino Kuni, Nino, yeah. It, it, it's very s- similar, and if you compare Monster Hunter Story Two and uh, and Monster Hunter Rise, it's dude, it's apple and oranges, man. It's day yeah, and it's night, apple man. and oranges. 
So Monster Hunter Stories 2, it offers both RPG and Monster Hunter fans a unique new experience with a rich storyline featuring charming characters, challenging quests, and friendly encounters with familiar monsters from the Monster Hunter series, assuming the role of a young monster writer who can use a kinship stone to form strong bonds with monsters. Players can gain experience and improve their skills to form deeper connections with these wonderful creatures. And when ready, players can embark on memorable adventures filled with dramatic events and heartwarming friendships as the epic tale unfolds. I want to play this so much. Yep. I don't. I haven't even played the first one, but when I saw the trailer for this if, one, I was, I gotta play it. Uh, knowing Monster Hunter games, if you get it on a Switch and I have it on a Switch, we can actually play co-op. No way. Yeah, uh, that's that's what me and Sam did for for the older Monster Hunter games on our 3DS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we kind of play like, like it was just me and Sam just going on adventures. I would like to experience this with you. And all of these games, uh, Monster Hunter will be out next year in 2021. So there's a lot of time to wait. Monster Hunter's Rise on March 26. Um, Monster Hunter Stories 2 uh, I've, is yet to be undetermined. So the PS5 pre-order was just released. <laughs> I think yesterday or a couple of days back. Yeah, it was last night all the time. Yeah, it was last yeah. night. And Walmart restocked at 6 a.m. Their time? Their time. Okay. And it was sold out in under 10 seconds. No way. Yeah. 10 seconds? Yeah, like a lot of people, a lot of people who wanted to pre-order it from Walmart, they just couldn't because it was just 10 seconds. And the PS5 pre-order thing has been really crazy. Holy Like, crap, I think dude. a lot of pre-order stuff over the past few weeks have been crazy. The 3080 was mm. out for pre-order and that was sold out yeah, as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw everyone on uh, the subreddit at PC Master. It was right all there. memes yeah. everywhere, man. What the hell, man? Yeah, I was freaking crazy. I was talking to Kelly yesterday and I was saying how like, because we were watching um, the Demon Souls thing mm. and I was telling him that I personally think that right now, this year and next year, it's like the gaming industry at its peak. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I don't know why, but it's just that the whole like hype around the PS5, the whole hype around like Unreal Engine 5, like it's just, it's just crazy. Like, when you look at when you look at how the consoles have been marketed over the past few years, like the PS4 didn't have as much of an impact. Yeah. Like the PS5 has so much impact, and like I think it's got to do with ray tracing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to do. It's got to do with ray tracing. Got to do Teraflops. With like, I'm just gonna say I think the uh, the pandemic. Uh, kind of did kind of put things into perspective right like yeah 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 you need a fucking console at home <laughs> <laughs> really badly what if this shit really comes around badly. again yeah. that's kind of you know? true man because when the pandemic hit a lot of people like like uh the whole nintendo switch thing like it yeah. was sold out and and people were just like reselling it at a ridiculous price and and it was to the point that Nintendo r lit literally ran out yeah. of switches. Yeah, and I think yeah. like other uh, big uh, big companies, they kind of saw that and they're like, you know what, we need to take this crisis yeah. as yeah. an opportunity. And, and we also talked about it like back uh, when we're doing like the video recording, uh, like the virtual recording. Uh, Steam was at its peak of of players. As oh well, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. We got a lot of gamers like out there during this pandemic times. And I know so many friends who aren't gamers that actually hopped onto like free games such as Apex, for example. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then it's they, quite they started started gaming. You know. Yeah, what a time to be alive, what man. A, yeah, I mean, there's, there's like you know, like Far Dormu. <laughs> Far, there's always oh, yeah, that far, silver lining. Far, yeah, far. far like he he was like a big Dota player. Never really played FPS. Mm -hmm. And when the pandemic came around, he was like, hmm, I'm just going to download Apex. And now he's, like, stuck, dude. He's, like, grinding like shit. Wait, wait. So when the, the this PlayStation 5 pre-orders at Walmart, like, are they, like, in those cards or something like that? I, I mean, how would I purchase a pre-order at Walmart, man? I think so, it's on so the you website. Could, you, could, you put it in the cart. There's a pre-order. Yeah, yeah. There's a card, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, man, I want that. And you could have... So what happened to some people was they had the pre-order thing in their shopping cart. But as they wanted to check out, like, the website started getting buggy and shit. Mm-hmm. And as they refreshed, it wasn't in the cart anymore. Whoa! <laughs> I, I have a theory. I, Dude, that sucks, man. I have a theory. They never had stock since day one. What? No, th I think yeah, it's, I think it's gonna be the same as like my prediction of the of what happened with the thirty eighty. Mm -hmm. It's like they only they only put out like a very limited amount of like stock and then get. To build desire, build demand, yeah, and then yeah, as yeah. that increases, and hype then it up. hype it up. And for PS Five, I don't think they can hike up the price so much. Yeah. It stays the same, but for like the thirty eighty, they can hike up the price. I, I just personally personally feel that this is a marketing scheme. Yeah, that they never had stock since day one. Yeah, like it's just it was it was just pre orders. Yeah, that make you feel like you are entitled to get one. Yeah, yeah. it's like a raffle, yeah. right? 
but he never had stock. So yeah. as as like the the countdown stops at like zero 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 zero, yeah. You try to refresh like at the cart like purchase. Yeah. You can't purchase because they don't have stock at fr- yeah. in the first. That they- reminds me. That reminds me of like you know when you go when you go on Instagram and you see some ad for like a really cool couch cleaner or anything yeah, and sure. then you click on that yeah. and there's a landing page and there's like a timer there's always a timer yeah, yeah, if yeah. you refresh it it's all, it always restarts <laughs> yeah. and even if you count the timer down to zero you refresh it the, the timer starts yeah. again it's like <laughs> it's all for urgency yeah it's it's just building a demand for yeah. like I want to be the next guy to have the PlayStation 5 I want to be yeah. the first you know I want to be the first I want to be exclusive I, I need to have it right and if i tell you like hey jeff you can't have the playstation and then you can ask me like why 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 can't i have it yeah. i have money yeah. yeah right i have money i am demanding yeah. it but why aren't you g- giving it to me it's like bro you have to wait so as as you wait right you start to get impatient and when you get impatient right they 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 know that you want it yeah. you know at any at, at, at any price yeah i'm going to be like fuck i'm going to buy yeah. it yeah I'm this is I, i'm like kind of a bit grateful that i am like with like you guys because you guys know so much about marketing and you see through the schemes and shit yeah, being not. enlightened at the same yeah, time they're, they're, I'm they're, not a sheep they're trying to create <laughs> they're trying to create a simp culture for, their for the console. PS5 yeah. like no no, no not, some. It's, it's not for the PlayStation 5 but yeah. for next gen yeah for next yeah. gen consoles yeah. in general yeah. I'll read you some tweets from some of the people who didn't get to oh to man I would like to hear this so this one's from Russ McLaughlin so he says so Walmart opened pre-orders for PS5 at 6 this evening. Me and friends were waiting with a console set up. At 6, we all added to cart. Had to refresh a few times. I got to the confirmed delivery address stage. Errored out. Out of stock. <laughs> oh! It all took two minutes. <laughs> Shit. Dude. This, this one's from Gary Witta. The new Walmart PS5 pre-orders went live at 6. The digital edition was completely sold out within 10 seconds. You just can't compete with scalpers and their bots. Yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, dude. And the last one from Matt Swider. Mark the time. PS5 pre-orders at Walmart were sold out in under 2 minutes. No, I wasn't 2 minutes late. That's how long it took to try to check out. What? And then that's, that's kind of the image that you get. Oh, it's out of stock. Damn, yeah, right? that's sad. It, see if his camera can get it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad, man. Mm. I hate man. just looking at it. Just personally, I think that it's just a marketing ploy to get yeah, people no, hyped up. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's for sure, for sure, it is. And finally, on the news today, we saw the long-awaited PlayStation Five reveal. Right. And boy, was a treat, man. Oh, man. I was blown away. Yeah. And at the same time, depressed. But yeah, go on, Kel. Right? So this is what we know so far about mm-hmm. the PlayStation 5. Number one, the digital edition comes at a price tag of 399 USD. That is about 1,000, 2,000, 3 ringgit. Mm-hmm. Wow, Kelvin doing the math right the, here. The physical, <laughs> the physical edition will cost you 499 USD, which is about 2,000 plus plus ringgit. All right. Uh, it will launch on November 12th for US, Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea. Mm-hmm. But everyone else, like us, and Singapore, and Thailand, and Indonesia, will get it on November 19th. That is about a week later. Okay, that's not that's so bad. Right. Okay. I, I don't know why, but we'll, we'll build up to that. Right? Uh, the next point is games will now, sorry, next gen games will now go for anywhere from $49.99, $50, to $69.99, $70, which is about 200 ringgit to 280 mm-hmm. ringgit. Okay. No, no surprise there. And yeah, that, yeah, is, that is actually quite hefty. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Can you imagine but buying it? Are those prices like digital and physical? Yes, d- digital and physical. So, sorry, wow. uh, digital title will go for if I if I'm not mistaken, right? Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it might go for thirty, uh, a few bucks cheaper, cheaper. compared to the f- physical mode. Uh, and and there's a theory behind that as well, right? And going back to the console itself, right? The CPU will be running on a Ryzen, uh, AMD Ryzen Zen two Ooh. eight core CPU. Holy mm. crap! I like the uh, numbers. Uh, just just for a bit of a comparison, this is equivalent to a i7 mm-hmm. or i9. 9900K. Right? The, the high spec i7, which is 9700K, uh, yeah. and the i9 low spec 9900K. 
All right, the graphics card it's using, it's hard to compare the GPU that is being used in uh, on the PlayStation 5 because it's a customized GPU made by a AMD. It's called the AMD Radeon RDNA 2 base graphics engine ray tracing. It's 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 a mouthful, <laughs> it's a right? Really long but in terms of you. yeah, you gave up halfway, right? In, <laughs> and and in terms of teraflops. It's only running at 10.3 ter teraflops yeah. compared to the Series X r running at 12 teraflops, yeah. right? But don't worry, it's not the end of the world. Mm. Uh, for us PC gamers, the comparison to that is uh, it's equivalent to the 2070 or 2080. Yeah, yeah pretty right? much, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you said here it's equivalent to the 2070 Super or 2080 mobile GPU. Yeah, which is the, the laptop, laptop one. Yeah, yeah, the laptop one. Because it's hard to compare... Uh, Apples to apples, yeah. Uh, one, the GPU for the PlayStation Five is custom built, yeah. Right, you you don't see this anywhere else on the ma market. Hence yeah. the comparison, and also when you want to compare it to the PC G GPU, it's very 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 di difficult. Do you remember what the what the Xbox GPU is? Uh, I actually have it here, but yeah, because because no, no. it sounds like because it sounds like because I, I was it's fresh in my memory because I was watching um uh Windows versus Apple thing mm -hmm. yesterday. And like the components of the Apple product, like a, like a, on an iPad, it's like four gigs of RAM, but on a Surface Pro, it's like eight gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. But because of the chip that they use, which is proprietary to them, they manage to get like numbers double yeah. oh, the ones that Microsoft Surface X yep. has. So and and this is why I say when when it was announced that it was running on the AMD Radeon GPU at 10.3 teraflops, you mm -hmm. don't have to worry because what it lacks in graphic, it makes up in the memory storage yeah. space, which is the SSD. So the SSD used on the PlayStation 5 is also custom made. All right, It runs at almost 9 Gbps like so if you're downloading Holy a game per second yeah, if you're running a game or you're streaming a game mind you that fuck? this is running at 9 gbps <laughs> did you okay? finish the game before you download it and <laughs> just just for a comparison right just for a comparison the Xbox Series X it's only running at 4 gbps Shit. right Holy and this is crap. and if you are buying the digital version of the console itself Dude, you are literally downloading and streaming the game at the same time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this is where my theory comes in. If well, you realize, today, Cal. right? If you realize, <laughs> both Xbox and PlayStation Five introduced the digital model of their console, which yeah. which we've never seen before. It's yeah. a it's a new pre precedent, yeah. right? N no one has ever seen why. Wait, like the digital version yeah. of the console? Why? Why digital now? Because hmm. they're fighting with PC. No. Come on, come on. Wait, wait. They're trying to be environmentally friendly. No, man. Um, I can't mm. guess why. Because man. if you buy digital copies of the game, you have to go through their marketplace. Oh, And boom. if you go through their marketplace, they sell it. Yes, oh. you can't. And the other thing is thirty percent commissions. Oh. So, so the main company will Kel make with more money. with the mic drop, right? Drop the mic. <laughs> boom. Yeah, boom. So, so. In terms of consumer, <laughs> you are saving a hundred dollars. Yeah, but in yeah, the you long are. run, oh, you're shit. actually spending a lot more because the digital version don't uh, don't have the CD uh, the the disc the optical yeah, uh, yeah the the, yeah. the optical drive right yeah. the optical drive so you have to literally download the game like my Switch yeah. right I mean you can buy the the Switch cartridges but a lot of uh, small games that I have I, I just download it off the Ma marketplace, right? So yeah, yeah. the the e shop, right? Oh, no, no, like no. like like the e shop, like almost. Oh god, like Nintendo almost. Switch sounds are like almost eighty percent. Yeah, almost eighty percent of the indie games that that I buy are from the e store, right? right. So weird, weird flex, but okay. So no, yeah. <laughs> so so if if I were to resell, so no if cards. I were to resell this, yeah. all my games would go to the new o owner, and I yeah. and if I get like the Nintendo Can Switch Pro, yeah. That was uh, rumored to be c coming out. I had to rebuy all the games again. Right, right, so what, right. But so, so the games aren't attached to the account. The, no, it's the games are not. Yeah, it's attached to, to the, the console. And by serial number, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yep. Right. That's oh, right. That's interesting. Yeah. So this is why a lot of people has been saying, like, yeah, you can get the digital one, no problem, but in the long run, you are spending more money. 
Shit, man. Right. I never saw it that way. That, that was such an interesting insight. Yeah. yeah. This is why I'm like so grateful that to like know yeah, you right? guys. Like, like, because you guys like know all the. I'm, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> right. No, anyway, it's okay, man. Mo- yeah. Moving forward, point six. Uh, they have introduced new accessories such as the DualSense wireless controller. Have you guys seen the trailer for the DualSense controller? I, I think it was one of the first ones that came out, right? Uh, no, no, no. It, it was released this week as well. Mm. So what? So uh, trailer, it's then. it's basically super haptic feedback. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do, it's motion sensor as well. Or whatever you do, wh- whatever you feel, if you pull a tri- uh, a trigger, it vibrates. Like like it's a sure. real vibe. So you pull vibration. the trigger and you kind of feel like somewhere yeah. in this world someone died. <laughs> no, no, no. It's oh, not. That's morbid. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> Are you, so, so what you're trying to say is like when I pull the trigger, in, let's say it's in a shooter game, I can actually feel. Yes, yeah, you, you can feel actually feel the weight feel. of the trigger. Yeah, because no it's way. Yeah. yeah, it's it's basically a brand new redesign of how they hold how how the haptic feedback is. Wait, hold on. So, so the the travel for the trigger, the way it feels, the heaviness of it, it's all dependent on code. I'm assuming. I don't know because I don't know if how it, it if it's game dependent, right? That means. It has to it transmit data from the game to the yeah, controller. Yeah. So that means the heaviness and 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 how Ooh, how accurate cool. it is. It's all based on code, and yeah. that's, yeah. that's mind blowing. Yeah, it is mind blowing. Well, we don't know Shit. if that's true. Okay, we don't know. True, yeah. that's cool, what will you right? think of next, Japan? And the last thing, uh, when the game is launched, you you, I mean, it, there's not much PlayStation Five exclusive compared to the PlayStation Four, for example. Mm-hmm. The highlights that we saw are Spider Man Miles Mo- Morales. Uh, de- Demon Souls, <laughs> and also yeah. very interestingly, what is being called God of War Two, or yeah. or the title hit? It's called God of War. Right, right, right. right. The so I read somewhere that the um, it was actually they kind of spoke about it back in 2018 as well. This Ragnarok thing. Really? Yeah. The okay. the publishers they kind of they spoke about it, but then they never spoke about it again. Like a well, which se- is interesting. Like, like a sequel, like a sequel right? to, to, to the actual... To yeah, the everyone War, knows that they're, they'll be expecting a sequel. I mean, after you finish God of War 4. Yeah, like, hello, I mean, like, you can't really leave it like that. No, like, no, especially that last part. Remember when he went back to the cabin? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then somebody and then, else yeah. was waiting? Oh, my God. Bro, dude. <laughs> Shivers, man. Yeah, right? And and then then he, he did like... Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like two sons, like yeah. in a clash, like yeah. one Greek, one uh, one Nordic. Yeah. I'm like, oh my goodness. But I really want to see what happens to the kid. Because anyway, I mean, I mean, we all know, we all know who, who the kid's yeah, gonna yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And to think that, like, the namesake of this game is caused by the kid, you know, because like <laughs> Loki was the one that started Ragnarok. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Spoilers, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, man. <laughs> But uh, apart from Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and uh, uh, Demon Souls, we got like a handful of other games as well. We got Hogwarts Legacy. Mm-hmm. That's another one. Yeah, Let Hogwarts me. Legacy mm-hmm. came out of nowhere. Yeah, man. yeah like yeah. Uh, I like the trailer. I like I like yeah. I like the whole script that they had. <laughs> right. Like had build your own like yeah. your own story in Hogwarts. Right. Like I don't know how don't that's know. gonna turn out, man. Because it's really hard for me to imagine. Is what it an MMO? I'm not sure. I uh, I sandbox. think it's a sandbox, right? Because what. What I love is it, it doesn't just introduce uh, the whole Harry Potter franchise like in yeah. Hogwarts itself. Yeah. They also mention something that I really love, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. When you he mentioned Fantastic Beasts. Right. Yeah. I've always wanted a good Harry Potter game. Me too. The man. last Harry Potter game I played was on Game Boy. It was really, oh, it was like, it's, it looked I, like Pokemon. I think I played, played that one. Right? Like that game uh, yeah. is ingrained in my memory. Yeah. Yeah. Isometric top down. Yeah. 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 It's, all, it's pixels. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that game it had so much. Puzzles and all. Yeah. Yep. 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 yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and after that Harry <laughs> Potter game, I couldn't really find something that felt no. the same. So I'm really hoping Hogwarts Legacy brings me back to that. Yeah. Dude. yeah it's all I like just, uh, glam and stuff. The graphics looks pretty great. Yeah. But then again, let's just wait until the game is released. Yeah. Damn. With a coffee mod, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my man. Well, my man. Yeah, no, I'm, good. Good. I'm just yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, the PG thirteen. We guard him, love you so. Guard him. Okay. Oh, stop it, Ron. Expector <laughs> Patrona. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Going back to uh, just a, just a quick brief um, mention. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. The trailer was dropped, but there wasn't anything about it. Right. Yeah. It was just yeah. uh, Kratos just giving his monologue or some yeah. shit yeah. like that, yeah. and then you just. There's see no the, even any graphics yeah, of it. Like, just, like yeah. we don't know what it yeah. looks like. God of War. Honestly, you don't need it. 
Right Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah. <laughs> right? You don't need it. That guy's <laughs> monologue it. just wins, dude. Right? Like his voice. I want to talk about Demon Souls. Yes. Oh, like, yeah, uh, let's go. Demon Souls was actually one of the game announced with the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, I, I, I wasn't... I was never really a Souls fan, right? Mm-hmm. As, as you can tell, when you guys geek out about... Uh, what was the game? The well, the the first Souls game? Uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, the other one. The Sekiro. Other, no, the other one. Uh, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Bloodborne, right? Yeah. When, when you guys were geeking out Bloodborne, I was just seriously left out because I don't Side-lined. follow much, right? <laughs> uh, when when Jeff played the Dark Soul, I did I did uh watch him play a couple of gameplays when you were playing Sekiro. Sekiro. It's it's not really my type yeah, of game, yeah, right? Because yeah. I I don't really have the time to invest in, into games yeah. like that. Yeah. But when Demon Souls came out, right? Did did you guys see? The trailer graphics, dude. The <laughs> sun, yeah, gets me every see, time. Do you guys see the lighting? The yeah. lighting, ray tracing, the ambiance, <laughs> the environment. It just adds to the creepiness of the entire thing, man. Right. And it's weird because this has been a decade since uh, they released this game that which changed the playing field of all like games, even modern games these days. Seeing Demon Souls coming out remastered, I was very hyped because. Um, I mean, because looking back at the Demon Souls, the original one, it mm-hmm. looked very dated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very dated. Yeah. Yeah. It probably w- looked pretty cool when it came out, though. I, probably, <laughs> yeah, like, I, like probably. I, I did someone the same out there was well. geeking out as much as we are yeah, right yeah. now. I, when the first I, I did the same thing out. as Jeff as well. So what I did was after I watched the Demon Souls uh, PlayStation Five reveal, I went back to watch the original trailer for Demon yeah. Souls. Yeah. Right? You know what it feels like? It feels like okay, D- Demon Souls, the original one felt like the game itself. Yeah. And the Demon Souls PlayStation 5 version felt like the game like like, like the reveal the the animated trailer. Right. right. Right? You know how whenever you see like JRPG games yeah. it, it's yeah. like it's like the game looks like some some pixelated like POS yeah. Yeah. and 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 the announcement trailer the, the cinematic yeah. reveal yeah. Yeah. right yeah. Yeah. Like, wow this is what <laughs> yeah. the game could yeah. look like right <laughs> i hated that man <laughs> like you you start a game and then the opening scene yeah. is like cool as yeah. graphics the camera pans out and then you get to a loading screen, <laughs> <laughs> and then you get out of the loading screen. Everything's like freaking boxes yeah, and pixels, yeah, all you know, like <laughs> boxes and polygons. Right? So, so this is what the new Demon Soul feels like. It feels like a cinematic trailer yeah. because the ray tracing technology, the the the, uh, sorry, what's the G- GPU call again? The RDNA, AMD, the radio, AMD Radeon. Radeon RDNA two base graphics acceleration variable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to read it out loud? <laughs> yeah, let me let me read it out loud. <laughs> So the GPU is called the AMD Radeon RDNA 2 based graphics engine, ray tracing acceleration variable frequency up to 2.23 gigahertz. And that's 10.3 10. 10. teraflops. 10. 3 teraflops. Right. What a mouthful, yeah, man. Okay, okay, but like, I thought when I when I saw Bloodborne for the first time, I thought that was from software's like peak, like, mm-hmm. like a, how'd you say, um, like the graphics was like, this is, this is their peak. Mm-hmm. Bloodborne, the graphics is great. But when I saw Demon Souls, I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. It looks it's, it's all ray tracing. It's, it's, that's that it's, was the, it, it looks amazing. The Even the yeah. effects, bro. Like we said, ray tracing six times. Yeah, today. we've yeah. said <laughs> ray tracing so many times. I'm really excited. I was a bit bummed out that it was gonna be an exclusive because uh, Sony did mention that they were gonna have a Demon Souls uh, PC version, but it yeah. turned out that it was actually a human error that they what? announced that it was going to be on the PC. So this is for yeah, all of us on exclusive. the PC. So I guess we all got to get right. a PS5 now, huh? Yeah, I feel like it just just so I can play this exactly, game. Just exactly. Just so I can play this game, right. yeah. Uh, For the PlayStation Plus subscribers, uh, what they get during launch is a bunch of greatest PlayStation 4 games of all time, all free at launch of PS5 for the PS Plus members. Yeah, what okay, can you like uh tell me about this PlayStation Plus collection what so uh, so PlayStation Plus collection is the same thing as Xbox have uh the Xbox Game Pass. Mm-hmm. So it's a subscription base where you pay anywhere from 14.99 to $30 depending on the tier you want. Right. And from there you can basically play any games you want that is on release. Right. Do you want so, me to read the list of games? Yeah, sure man. So you'll get God of War. You get The Last of Us Remastered. You get Uncharted 4, Battlefield 1, Monster Hunter World, Fallout 4, Final Fantasy. Wow. What's, th- what's XV in, in, in uh, 14? Is that 15, Final 15, Fantasy 15, 15? 15? Yeah, The Last Guardian, you get Ratchet and Clank, you get Infamous Second Son, Days Gone. That's you get actually Bloodborne, a great roster of games. Yeah. Detroit Become Human, Batman Arkham Knight, Mortal Kombat X, 
Persona 5, Until Dawn, and Resident Evil Biohazard. Yeah, and you can play all of that if you subscribe to the PlayStation Plus membership for 29 ringgit a month or 159 ringgit a year. Just a disclaimer to all the audience that this is not a plug. This is what we're we're getting. Yeah, we're not being sponsored by PlayStation. (laughs) I'm just telling you that for 30... For, for 30 not. ringgit, you can get I'm all that games. 30 ringgit? Yeah, yeah 30, 30 ringgit a month, that's, a month, that's a month, a month. Hey, that's, that's, not, that's cheaper than my WoW see? subscription. See, dude. that's what they want you to think. It's also right, right, like right, and right, sync. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not a sheep. Right? I'm not a sheep. But hey, I've got a PS4 at home, and I do have a PlayStation Plus uh, subscription. So I'm going to download the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to download it five times, dude. Yeah, so I mean, like, in the long term, uh, if you don't want to pay $70 for a full game, yeah. this is what they're trying to do. They're trying yeah. to push you to the PlayStation Plus subscription where eventually you will get to play all these games. Again, if eventually, right? Mm-hmm. So so at launch, this is what you're getting. Uh, you're basically getting, quote unquote, the next gen console. God damn. Which man. is, again, I'm going to say it the fourth time, what a time to be alive. Because when we go back to the console and, and the, the core of it, right? The highlights of the GPU really highlights the ray tracing, which you can Im- <laughs> immerse that yourself, again. right? <laughs> like, you, you can really immerse yourself in the world. Yeah. And we saw it in the trailer, course, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, it supports 4K TV gaming, all right? The PlayStation 5 also has a 8K output. So if... You know how for the longest time mm. we've been talking about 1080p? Yeah. Dude, the PS5 will introduce you to the whole new world of... 2160. No, bro. 4,320p resolution display. Whoa. That's 4,000? 4,320p. 4K. <laughs> that's... 4K. No, that's 8, 8K. That's 8K? Yeah. Oh, my God. God damn. Right? Uh, and what games going on? and, <laughs> and <laughs> games will be games will be up to, to 120 fps with 120 hertz output wow and also hdr technology so oh so and i quote right an unbelievably vibrant and lifelike range of colors you know what i'm thinking about right now i am scared with what the gaming industry is going to be like 15 years from now dude right? VR, man it is freaking scary right like ready yeah, player one but not just that like yeah you get, I think it would be exactly like Ready Player yeah. One where it's not even about graphics anymore. No. Like I can see the shine on your skin. Yeah, it's the experience <laughs> as well. It's yeah. crazy, dude. Just think about it. Three months ago, six months ago, 12 months ago, we were so ignorant to, to gaming, right? Yeah. Like like PC gaming will be the greatest of them yeah. all, right? right it will right, be the right. goat of gaming. Yeah. And out of nowhere, they just released like next-gen console. The yeah. specs came out. And and when the specs came out, everyone was just like, "What? what is all these numbers, right? Like, mm. when I tell you about the specs, like let's say six months ago, like I, I think, do you know that the PlayStation 5 will be running on the AMD Radeon Air RDN A2 base graphics engine ray tracing acceleration very, very... You know, yeah. you're like, bro, what I does that even mean? Laugh in your face, Kel. Right, what does it... But, but <laughs> then... Nerd. <laughs> but, then <Yeah. laughs> but then now when you... are talking about? When, when we look at the announcement trailer and we look at the possibilities of what next-gen console can bring to us it's like bro what is this yeah. and now that you mentioned what is gaming like in 10-15 years time mm-hmm. dude I think we're not ready like we're like, not like our brains are not susceptible to yeah. to, to understanding right. or, or, or fathoming like, like what is the next what is after this it's like trying to think of like the fourth dimension right? yeah right you know? like it's really hard to imagine can't. it no you can't you no. can't imagine yeah, what it's gonna be like in 15 years it's gonna be called next sun you know. tracing <laughs> okay all right. Next thing you know, you're just living it. Yeah. Yeah. And you right. don't even remember how you yeah, started. Dude. God damn, man. We're uh, a simulation, guys. Uh, is is do we have so like nice. a? Oh yeah. So uh, we'll be expecting to be uh, for the PlayStation Five to be released on the twelfth of November. Holiday. Holiday. Yeah, the holiday. 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 Twenty. Just in time for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Black Friday is gonna be a storm. <laughs> Actually, while we're on record, I'm just just say a personal thing. You're welcome. <laughs> What? Uh, remember when I said my my PlayStation account mm. was uh, was hacked? Yeah. Um, I'm just starting to come to terms with that. Do you hack him back? No, I didn't. Oh. I don't know how, but if I could, I would, okay. dude. But I'm just gonna say to myself right now that this is a good time for me to feel like the PS5 is something completely new to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm a PC player now, buying a console. That's what it's gonna feel wow. like. To me. Whoa. Speaking so about I've, that, I've got a new that, outlook on. Speaking about that, someone on our team just got his home PC. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah. Joven, right? Right. Is, is that is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> Joven. Joven. How's your PC, Joe? Silky smooth, man. Baby's butt. How do you know that? Played a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> you, you how do you sure know how you... smooth a baby's butt is, Joe? 
<laughs> Why you gotta put him on a spot like that? Seriously, like, like. Yo, Joe, what what's your PC spec like, man? Ooh, um, so sixteen gigs of RAM, um, twenty sixty. RTX 2060. Yikes. Um, SSD, I have 480. Oh my god, dude. If that was, if that was lot, hearing dude. this, I I don't know if my specs is accurate. I'm just thinking <laughs> this off my head right now. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Afik when he moved to like the whole PC. Ascended, route, right? Ascension. Like, like Ascension. Ascension. How does it feel owning a PC right now? So I used to run on an 860 M graphics card damn RAM, 8 that's gb pretty, ram on, pretty average on the laptop doesn't even have an ssd it's ass <laughs> right <laughs> it's ass. so that's how i know the pc runs like a baby's butt right okay it's i got smooth. it smooth that as makes sense i like any that. any regrets no regrets nice. no regrets no what regrets. was the first game you played on it among us see I've forgotten to bring the Wi-Fi antennas home oh with me. No. So I had to connect to my 4G. Oh, no. <laughs> so the first game I downloaded on my 4G was Unturned. What? What was that? Unturned. Unturned? Unturned. Un- it's like a... Is that a meal? It's like a... Search it up. It's like a... What um, the hell is this? It's like a zombie game. You're like an indie oh, game un- enthusiast. Oh, oh un- Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense you downloaded this on 4G. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 So yeah, that's that, Dude, that's, that's like Minecraft CS, man. Yeah, see, yeah. see that's the thing is, the thing is, I can't run that on my laptop. Oh, oh I cannot shit. run that on wow. my laptop. So I'm like, I need to test this out. Okay, I need to. Test How did this it out. run on the PC? Smooth, <laughs> like a baby's butt. Like a baby's. Butt. That's what I was he, expecting he, him to he, say. He emphasized. Yeah, yeah he yeah. emphasized yeah. it very Twice. well. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> And that's all the time we have for you guys this week. Uh, we talked about the two showcase that was showcased <laughs> this week. The PlayStation 5 showcase, the Nintendo Direct Partner showcase. And we talked about Left 4 Dead 2, The Last Stand. Uh, we talked about how... Walmart sold out. <laughs> Walmart sold out. <laughs> Four guys. Four guys. guys. Yeah. Well, and a, and, and a bunch up. of things, right? It was right? an yeah, interesting yeah, week. Yeah, it, was it was a exciting. really a an exciting week. And yeah. for the eighth time i'm gonna say what a time to be alive oh my god what a time to be alive, what a what a time time be alive, alive right big ads big vpn teraflops everywhere everywhere all right Talk so to close out the show i just want to say that we've been your host i'm calvin tay i'm jeff k and i'm Afik k and we'll see you on the next one <laughs> <laughs>